destroying the species. Go ahead, continue read. The male and his female. Now, did you finish that? Uh, verse 2, I finished Go ahead, that. finish that third verse. Of fowls also of the air by seven, uh -huh. the male and the female, to keep seed alive upon the face of all the earth. Now he said to keep seed alive upon the face of all the earth. So even back in Genesis, you know, you had to clean and you had to unclean. Now let's go over to uh, Leviticus chapter 11, and we're going to deal with the dietary law. They really want to nail this one to the cross. Some of it they can live with, but some of it they would really like to nail to the cross. Some especially when they get down to certain foods. If we could only nail that to the cross. <laughs> some of it we can take, but uh, some of it we need to nail it to the cross. Leviticus chapter 11, and we're going to start reading at verse 1. Leviticus 11 began at verse 1. Go ahead and read. And the Lord spake unto Moses and to Aaron, saying unto them. Now notice again here, it is the Lord that is speaking unto Moses and unto Aaron, and he is saying unto them, this is what you do. Go ahead and read on. Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, uh -huh. these are the beasts which ye shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth. Now he said, these are the beasts that you shall eat among all the beasts upon the earth. So even though everything God made was good, he made a separation here, yes, didn't sir. he? Now, this is God making the separation. This ain't Moses making the separation. And it is certainly not the house of Jacob making the separation. It is God that is making the separation. He, God said unto Moses, speak unto the people and say unto them, these are the beasts ye shall eat, and these are the beasts ye shall not eat. And there's a reason for them. God made them unclean. Therefore, they are not good for you. And we're going to read some stuff about some of these beasts, and it's going to let you know. They are truly not good for you. I mean, we're going to read it out of the Peter, since you don't believe in the Bible. Go ahead and read on. Verse 3. Go ahead and read. Whatsoever part of the hoof and its cloven footed uh -huh. and chew of the cud among the beasts, that shall ye eat. Now, they must have all three of these characteristics. They must part the hoof, they must be cloven footed, and they must chew the cud. And if they, you know, God gave you a way of identifying them. You know, I look over there, I see that thing now. I don't know if I can eat that or not. I don't know. Uh, let's see. It's, it chewed the cud. It's cloven footed, and it, uh, it and, and it have the split hoof. I can eat that. You understand? I might not like it, but I know one thing. I can still eat it and be in good graces with God. Yes, you sir. understand what I'm saying? That I can do. So now he just gave you characteristics of these beasts, so you will be able to identify. What is clean and what is unclean. Go ahead, read on. Nevertheless, these shall ye not eat of them that chew the cud. Now he said, these shall ye not eat of them that chew the cud. They chew the cud. Go ahead and read. Or of them that divide the hoof. Or of them that divide the hoof. Go ahead and read. As the camel. As the camel. Go ahead and read. Because he cheweth the cud, uh -huh. but divideth not the hoof. He chew the cud, but he don't divide the hoof. Go ahead and read. He is unclean he unto is you. He is unclean unto you. You, you. you go to the zoo, you see the camel, he's standing up there chewing. And, but, uh... He, uh, that's, he's chewing the cud, but he is unclean unto you. Why? Because he do not divide the hook. Go ahead and read. And the coney, uh -huh. because he cheweth the cud, but divideth not the hoof, he is unclean unto you. Now he said, coney, because he cheweth the cud, but divideth not the hoof, he is unclean unto you as well. Go ahead and read. And the hair. And the hair. That is the rabbit. Go ahead and read. You because know, I know in this country, a lot of people eat rabbits. You know, some of these other animals, you say, oh, people don't eat that. Yeah, you go to some of these other kinds. They eat everything, starting down from the camel to the elephant to the mouse. And some of them be delicacies. You understand what I'm saying? They are eating good when they eat a mouse. When you can salt him up real good and, 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 and stir him around in the skillet, that'd that be good to eat. You understand what I'm saying? So, I mean, you don't, we don't eat them here, but in some places they do eat some of these things. And these dietary laws, they are good wherever you happen to be. So now... Uh, uh, now, now, a rabbit is kind of big in this country. Go ahead, especially in the south. Go ahead and read. Because he cheweth the cud, uh -huh. but divideth not the hoof. And you see the rabbit standing there just chewing, and he is chewing the cud, but he don't divide the hoof. Go ahead and read. He is unclean unto you. And he is unclean unto you. This is the one they would love to nail to the cross right here. Go ahead and read. And the swine. And the swine. Oh, if we could nail that one to the cross, <laughs> we'd be all right. Because out of all of them, they might be able to live without... All the rest of them, but living without the swine, 
You, uh, man, please don't tell me I can't eat no swine. But the Lord said the swine he is unclean unto you. Go ahead and read on. Though he divide the hoof. Now he's, he divides the hoof. Go ahead and read. And be cloven footed. And yes, he is cloven footed as well. Go ahead and read. Yet he cheweth not the cud. But he do not chew the cud. Therefore he is unclean unto you. Go ahead and read on. He is unclean unto you. He is unclean unto you. Now the Lord going to tell you about the stuff that is in the water. Because you know you have people, they like to go fishing. They like to carry a net out there. And throw it in the water and pull them out some. And, and uh, mostly what Israel is looking to pull out is a catfish. Yes, sir. All the fish, Lord got thousands of species of fishes <laughs> in the water. And the only one Israel wants to eat is a catfish. <laughs> but now, he, but the Lord going to tell you about the stuff that is in the water here. Because you go fish, you throw your pole in your water, you throw your net in your water, you pull out something. You don't know if it's clean or unclean, right? But then the Lord gave you certain characteristics about the things that are in the water so that you will be able to identify what is clean and what is unclean. Go ahead and read, brother. Verse 8. Go ahead and read it. Of their flesh shall you not eat. Now he said, you know, the, the animals there, the, the land animals that we just be, uh, finished reading about, he said of their flesh, don't eat. Go ahead and read. And their carcass shall you not touch. And their carcass, that is the dead body, do not touch it. Go ahead and read. They are unclean they to are you. They are unclean unto you. Now go on into the ninth uh, uh, verse. And deal with the stuff that is in the water. Go ahead and read. These shall ye eat of all that are in the water. Go ahead. Whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. Well, there go your catfish, there go your lobsters, and your oysters, and, and shrimp, and all of that stuff. There go all of that stuff. But the Lord still have plenty in the water for you yes, to sir. eat. You know, I, I like uh, fish, and, and, and I can always find a variety of fish that I can eat. I get tired of eating this cat, I go eat another yes, cat. Sir. I ain't got to eat the ones that he say are unclean. I can have a variety of fish. You understand what I'm saying? So now the Lord said, if they have fins and scales, then they are clean. And if they don't have fins and scales, then they are unclean. Of their, of their flesh, do not eat. And of their carcass, don't touch. Go ahead and read up. And all that have not fins and scales in the seas and in the rivers and of all that move in the waters and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. Now the Lord said, if, if, if they don't have both, then they are an abomination unto you. Go ahead and read. They shall be even an abomination unto you. Go ahead. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, uh -huh. but ye shall have their carcasses in abomination. Go ahead. Whatsoever have no fins nor scales in the waters that shall be an abomination unto you. Now, let's go on and deal with the fowls of the air. Now, let's uh, go on into the uh, 13th verse. Because, you, uh, uh, you know, he gave you about the land animals, the, the water animals, and the uh, uh, now he's going to deal with the fowls here. Go ahead and read. And these are they which ye shall have an abomination among the fowls. Go ahead. They shall not be eaten. Now, they he said, he's he going to name you the ones that you shall not eat, and any of them that he don't name here, that means that it is all right for you to eat them. Go ahead and read on. They are an abomination. Now he said, these are an abomination unto you. Go ahead and read. The eagle. You can't eat the eagle. Go ahead and read. And the osprey. Uh -uh. No, you can't eat them either. Go ahead. And the osprey. Okay. And the vulture. He read. And the kite after his kind. Now all of these he said you cannot eat. Go ahead and read. Every raven after his kind. Go ahead. And the owl. And the night hawk. And the cockle. And the hawk after his kind. Go ahead. And the little owl. And the cormorant, and the great owl, uh -huh. and the swan, and the pelican, the gear eagle, and the stork, the heron, after her kind, and the lapwing, and the bat. Now he said, all of these you are not to eat. Now I'm going to just name you a few that you can eat. Chicken. I know Israel, glad to hear that. You're all right now, ain't you, Israel? You can eat your chicken. You can have all the fried chicken you want now, Israel. Now, you know, you got the chicken, you got the turkey, you got the p pigeon, you had a pheasant, you had a quail, you have the dove. Those are some of the ones that you can eat, Israel. But the main one is the chicken. You can eat that. <laughs> now, uh, let's go on into the, uh, let's go on into, uh, 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 uh. No, you can't eat that either. That's, that's the swan. That's in the swan family. Okay. Yeah, okay. Now, uh, 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 uh. Now, let, let's go on into the, uh, 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 chapter, uh, verse, rather. We say, we're the same chapter. Verse 20. Verse 20. Go ahead and read. 
All fowls that creep going upon all four shall be an abomination unto you. Now, let's go on, go on into uh, 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 verse 24. Go ahead and read. And for these ye shall be unclean. Go ahead. Whosoever touches the carcass of...